Welcome to the Night News. I'm Kyron. And I'm Chad. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, Wes? Hey, this is What are you doing? It's our turn. Why? As I said. Okay, you have fun. Happy too. See ya. I'll be over here. Okay. If you need anything. Wow, this year is flying by. Sorry, the second quarter. Yup. Okay, well, we have standardized testing, the fall sports are over, and all the Halloween K is almost gone. Yup, it is. Wow, um, we even have motivational speakers in the building. Mm hmm. Hey, I think it's time for your nightly news. Welcome to the second edition of the Nightly News. I'm Jordan. And I'm Wes. Today we've got stories for you on a new logo and new teachers. But first we have a look at the end of cross country. Both the boys and girls teams made to sectionals this season and we even had a student make it to the state meet. Congratulations to Maria on her all state and school record performance at state. Now here's a look at the field crest volleyball lady nights. Many sports take place in the fall and one of them is volleyball. We're going to go talk to some of the players to see how the season's going. How's volleyball going so far? Good, this season's really good. We've um, improved a lot from last season. And what's the difference between this year and last year? Um, people got moved to different positions, which helped us a lot and definitely made everyone improve greatly. What is your favorite part of volleyball? My favorite part of volleyball is my position, which is middle, and that's when we spike the ball and we block from all three spots, which is right, middle, and left side when the other team hits. So how's volleyball going this year? It's good. We really improved on some stuff from last year, and we have a bunch of really good freshmen that came out. And what's the difference between this year and last year? Well, the freshman team is pretty good. We lost a good bunch of juniors now, but sophomores and freshmen have both been being, doing good. What's your favorite part of volleyball? Mostly just being with the girls and stuff. They're a good group of girls and it's fun to play with them and have a good coach to help us out. What are you looking forward to this season? Mostly just playing El Paso and hoping that it's a good game. Here we go, Carolyn. <laughs> How's volleyball going this year? Well, we're actually winning games and we're doing a lot better than we were last year. And it's just all coming together well. What's the difference between this season and last season? This season we're actually winning and we're doing a lot better. And it's just doing a lot better than last year. What's your favorite part of volleyball? Um, winning games because it motivates us to do a lot better after each game. What are you looking forward to this season? We're trying to win regionals because there hasn't been a regional win in like 10 years. So that's all we really want to do this year. Looks like it's been an exciting year for volleyball. Let's hope they finish strong. For the Nightly News, I'm Jordan. Congratulations on your se season, ladies. A regional championship and almost a sectional championship. Good job. Let's switch now from sports to check out the new logo. After 20 years of being the Philcrest Knights, a lot of things have changed here. We've got new teachers, a new logo, and even new laptops. Let's go learn more. Miss Weiss, I gotta say, I love the new logo, and I understand it was your son Will that designed it. Can we hear more about that? Um, yeah, he was, um, he's been interested in redoing the design for about 10 years. Uh, I kind of started working it when he was in high school and then his senior year um, at U of I asked the professor if he could work on for his senior project to do a rebranding of the school's logo and then talked to Mr. Olson about the design and Mr. Olson was um, very enthusiastic about having, especially for the 20th anniversary, to have a re redo of the night. So um, gave Will the opportunity to do that and they agreed on it. and. Um, it's, I, th I think it's really cool. I'm glad he did it. It is pretty cool. How long did it take him to do that? Um, like I said, he's been working on the design for some time, uh, but uh, probably four to five weeks to sketch it out in a sketchbook and then to redo it on the computer. That's a lot of work. And uh, how's the art class been going this year? Awesome. Very good. When can we count on uh, the next art show coming? It will be the same time as the play, so probably, I think it, which is the first weekend in November. And along with the new logo, we also have these new laptops. How have they affected your classes and all your teaching? 
um, it's been great because the kids have been able to um, do research for artists rather than me giving them the artist to look at. They've been able to go and look up their own artist and research um, and look at YouTube videos on wheel throwing, which you've been kind of involved in. So I, I love them. I think it's great. All right. Well, there you have it. Though in the last years the faces, art, and technology have changed, artists will always be in the making here at Fieldcrest. Well, the logo is looking great. Congratulations on 20 years, Fieldcrest. Well, that's all for this time. We'll keep working on stories. So you keep watching. More editions of your nightly news.